Hello, my name is James Bryan. I'm here today to talk to you about the Kanaf Yoga teacher training courses and why you should come along and do them. Nikki Kanaf has opened and run multiple yoga schools around the world and she brings that benefit to you in these teacher training courses. What you'll find in Nikki that you may not find in other yoga teachers is this vast years of experience. Nikki Kanaf started yoga in 1970 and I started in 1982. The combined experience of Nikki Kanaf and myself, James Bryan, is just shy of 80 years. That's amazing to say that. One of the things I've noticed over the years of running these teacher training courses is the amazing, the incredible transformation that takes place in our students. I see them come in that front door very anxious, very nervous, uh, full of hopes and aspirations. They go through a little bit of hell in the process because uh, again these are intensive courses and you are working with a master teacher who not only expects but demands that you give it your all. But at the end, what a change. People have lifted themselves up, they've gained a profound knowledge of yoga and they're, they're very elevated. And that's, that's, um, that's, a, that's a great journey to go on. So you're not learning just technical points, you're actually learning to understand the postures, uh, the pranayama and the meditation, so that then you can teach it in your own manner with your own personality, rather than attempting to be a clone or to copy someone else. Kanaf Yoga is combining the anatomical alignment of the Ayanga approach with the energetic aspects of the Ashtanga approach. And we find those two things actually fit together like hand and glove and it really enhances not only the practice, the teaching, and of course the understanding. And Nikki Kinoff is one of the first people to actually see the potential for marrying those two systems to create a, a better, more efficient system. Kanaf Yoga system is unique in all of Australia and as far as I know, in the entire world because of the nine levels of training that we offer. There's no other school I've ever heard of or have come across that offers that extensive range of professional development. So we start off with what we call our discovery program. We then go into the foundation, intermediate, advanced, and master. And these are asana programs. It takes you from teaching beginner classes to the highest level possible. And then we have specialty classes on top of that, which are pregnancy yoga, yoga therapy A, yoga therapy B. The difference being those is one focused on mechanical issues like back, knees, hips, shoulders, etc. Yoga therapy B is more organic issues, depression, insomnia, uh, digestive issues. Yoga is also very helpful for that. And then of course, uh, unique to Kanaf Yoga is chair yoga. Learning how to teach a segment of the population, a growing segment, that cannot participate in a normal yoga class. So nine levels will allow you to continue your development for a long time. Nikki Kanoff has a reputation for integrity and these teacher training courses are definitely not a walk in the park. Of these nine levels, again we go from beginning teaching all the way up to master level, there are only a handful of people who have reached that level, implying that you do have to put some effort in. We've had students rock up in the past assuming that as long as they showed up to class that they're automatically going to get certificated. The answer is no. You have to do the work. You have to learn the programs and the systems. There are tests obviously and uh, you have to pass those in order to graduate and hold the honor of a Kanaf Yoga teaching certificate. One of the aspects of Kanaf Yoga is the, the five pillars of practice. It's incredibly helpful for you with both your practice and teaching. So these five aspects are asana, the pranayama, vinyasa, dristi, and the ujjayi breath. When you incorporate these into your practice, you make it very strong and very solid. So when you add the, the dristi, the eye focus, when you add the ujjayi breath, the pranayama, when you add the linking of the vinyasa, and when you add the bandhas, it strengthens the practice tremendously and you'll find that it takes you much deeper into the meditative uh, practice as well. So yoga asana then becomes moving meditation. Kanaf Yoga teacher training adheres to the guidelines of the International Yoga Alliance. And that means that the teacher training courses do involve some testing. There's anatomy and physiology, there's yoga philosophy, obviously there's yoga asana, there's basic Sanskrit, and also attitudinal. It's very important that you demonstrate the proper attitude when you're 
going through the teacher training courses so that Nikki Knopf, before she certifies you, is happy that you're going to go out and share yoga in the right way. Another of the unique aspects of the Knopf Yoga system to teaching is the intelligent use of props. So what are props? Props are belts, blocks, bricks, barrels, chairs, anything you need to help you get uh, more knowledge and understanding of the yoga postures. Some styles of yoga don't use anything and um, they would rather have you round your back and bend your knees to do a forward bend rather than working with correct anatomical alignment. The idea behind the intelligent use of the props is to wean yourself off them so that you can then do the full classical pose and gain the full benefit from expressing that pose.